it's Wednesday, it's 12 p.m. Eastern, it's 5 p.m. in the UK, and it is time for Bots for Broadcasters. Now, ordinarily, it would be myself and RJ, but RJ is currently, well, I can tell you where she is. RJ is on her way to Mexico. She's on a cruise over to Mexico, and uh, she's left the show in my hands, so I can do anything that I want. I can take you anywhere I want. In the course of the next 60 minutes, we'll be looking at messenger bots and also something which we're introduced to by David and uh, say hello to uh, Corinda and Corinda saying hello to Ed. So all's well there. Now there is something that we tried early today. I'm just going to take that off the screen and I'm going to bring up onto screen something new and hopefully it will share the screen with me so we can I'm sorry to take that off the screen and uh, ed was being welcomed then by our autoresponder bot and the autoresponder bot is something that rj and i have been testing now for the last three or four weeks and it's come through its tests we talked to facebook about it talk directly to Facebook about it, and we're now ready to tell you more about it, and uh, we'll be releasing it in our show next week. I'm waiting for RJ to return before I speak more about it. Now, you notice to the left of me, that's that way, is that as I'm speaking, uh, my text is being transcribed automatically by a piece of software which was mentioned to us by David Burrows, and that software is called Web Captioner, and I'll put a link in in a moment for Web Captioner. But basically what it does is that if you're on a show by yourself, it will listen to your microphone. It's listening to my microphone and to what I'm saying, and it's turning that into text. Now, we asked earlier, why is this important? So many people who are watching live shows actually scroll on by. If, however, there is text on the page, they will stop for a moment to read it. And I'm going to make it even more legible by putting it full screen. So you can now see it. You can't see me. I'll come back in a second. But the idea is that whilst you're broadcasting, what you're saying is being transcribed. So for anybody who is hard of hearing for anybody who cannot have the volume on because they're in an open plan office then this is an ideal situation for them to um sort of follow along with what you're saying without having to turn the volume up so web captioner i'm going to get the link for you now just give me a second i'll go off and get the link so that you can try it out for yourself now early this afternoon uh, Brigetti tried it out, and I'm going to put a web caption uh, link, and I'm going to put it onto Facebook from within the Be Live TV studio, and you should have that link in a moment. And uh, Corinne is saying, "Yay!" It's actually capturing what I'm saying as I'm saying it, and the link is there it's free to use there is no cost it's donationware which is my favorite sort of software if you like the system and you want to support the system then you can donate one dollar five dollars ten dollars or even more depending on how much you're actually getting out of the system and it is uh so easy to use you just actually load the website start captioning you can change the settings. You can change the font that you're actually using. I did that earlier today. Um, but it is so simple to use. And it will listen to everything that you say. And it will transcribe it. Simple. Simple. So I'm going to leave that running on the screen for a moment. Hopefully, if you've want, got any questions about Web Captioner, then uh, please do ask. Now, I've got a favor to ask of you. If you are watching the show, and I want to say thank you to Corinda, if you are watching the show, then please could you comment because I'm testing something. Uh, and if you comment, that helps the cause. You'll only get a, a message on first reply. Um, yep, yeah, and you get a message on your first reply, and that's it. That's all there is to it. 
um, but it just tests the system for us. It's now attached to 20 shows on the live video hub, and uh, this test will help us to, uh, to check it out. Now, message from Corinda. Corinda is saying, uh, do you want to talk about saving it on the web captioner? Yeah, the web captioner is live, but at any point in time, I can stop the web captioner and I can save it uh, to a text file or to a Word file, and I can then use that as the basis of a blog po post, or I'm going to check this out later. You could use it as a transcription file. The accuracy is pretty good. It's acceptable. And if you speak clearly, then it will work without any problems. It can only capture one person, and that's the person who's actually hosting the show. So if you're hosting a show on your own, then this is an ideal way of captioning. You don't actually need to uh, show it on the screen all the time. You can take it away from the screen, and it will still carry on transcribing, and then you can bring it back when you wish and people can catch up to date with what you've been saying since the last time uh, the transcription was shown. So all sorts of possibilities with this. And I can see it being used on the shows where I host on my own, uh, pure and simply, because it does catch the eye as people are scrolling past because people actually see text. And are, it's inbuilt to us that we actually read text that we see, just purely out of interest. So it's this live video from BeLive.tv using Web Captioner, and it is transcribing everything that I say. So it's a sort of bot. It's a captioner bot. And uh, I'm proud to have it with me on the show today. All I did was to start it in a web, in a browser tab, share the browser tab, and then bring that browser tab into the screen and then go split screen with myself and uh, web captioner, and you can actually see that now working. Uh, so thank you for that, Corinda, and hopefully we've now covered the web captioner. But I want to say to everybody who's here, welcome to the show. I'll take that down, unless you want to keep it up. I could have a poll. Do you want it up or down? Um, welcome to the show, and this is Bots for Broadcasters. And uh, during the course of this show, I'm going to be talking about messenger bots. And the first one we're going to encounter today is if you want to join me on camera, then uh, type guest to actually join me on camera. And that brings into play a mini chat bot. Now, this is a, a bot that I uh, designed originally. It's called the guest bot. And it will send you a message in Messenger with a link to join me on camera. And it's simple and straightforward. And that's the start of a conversation as well on uh, Messenger after the show. Uh, always thank people who actually join me on the show. And anybody who actually comments on the show today will also be the start of a conversation. Now, I've been testing this for the last three weeks, and it's brought about a lot of conversations because what happens with the autoresponder bot is that the first comment that you make gets a reply. Now, it's not totally automated. I've written a reply and addressed it to you, and all you need to do is to type in a, a short comment into the comments now, and you'll get a message, a reply to your comment, and you'll also get a message in Messenger so that we can carry on the conversation afterwards. What does that mean? Well, to me, it means that after each show, I can have a one-to-one -one conversation with everybody who comments. We can catch up on what's happening in your world as well as what's happening in mine, and we can start a conversation, and we can find out how we can actually help each other. Now, I'm building up on this. The shows that I've done up to now using uh, the autoresponder bot have started, on average, around about eight new conversations per show from people actually commenting. and. Uh, it's the comments that make the show. And uh, Corinda is saying, many chat is a great bot. I use it as well, and it's great. So yes, it is. I totally agree. Right, if you're watching this show from the live video hub, uh, I can't see your comments. Could you, if you're watching from the live video hub page, just type hello? 
if you type hello without you're doing anything else you'll get our redirect bot and what happens on our redirect bot i can find my uh show notes bear with me a minute folks i'm looking for my show notes and uh somewhere in there i've got uh, a redirect bot but i'll tell you about it if i can't find it i will tell you about it oh this is live the joys of live i'm sure i wrote it down uh oh good right okay let's go on with the comments and it's hello from ed thank you ed uh much appreciated um and you'll get a reply sort of from me in a moment or two and corinda is saying uh, you want to do screen share and autoresponder to set up for people who don't know about it not yet corinda um i'm testing all this week rj comes back next week and then we'll take a look at it and then we'll start to show how to use it um it is different from many chat uh it's as straightforward as many chat uh it allows you to uh, reply to comments as it's doing now it's replied shortly reply to ed hopefully unless he's got uh, replies turned off i'm not sure what's happening um yeah okay lost my thread there um so <sighs> Right, okay, so I don't want to talk about autoresponder bot today, uh, not in fully, it would be unfair to actually give you half the story. What I'm doing at the moment is actually uh, setting up the redirect bot, which you'll find if you uh, go on the live video hub. And uh, in addition to that, I've got the uh, thank you bot, which is running live on BeLive in 5 today, uh, saying thank you for actually joining us. And I can bring you an example up on the screen. And it only works on the first comment. So they said, hello, Ed. Uh, we're so glad you could join us today. We enjoy your company, which is true. And if you have a moment, please visit the page. And that's very, uh, well, very simple and straightforward request from myself and RJ. Um, OK, and your second comment just Ed's just confirmed nothing happens on your second comment if uh heaven for fend a bot replied to every comment that you made uh then there would be there would be problems because i know i wouldn't be happy if every time i said something i got a reply from a bot so the bot is set to reply to your first comment i say hello to gospel nice to see you and it the bot uh, the redirect bot will in fact reply to uh gospel and there you have it and there's the reply to gospel this is the bot that we'll be showing you next week if you do a fair amount of live cross posting to other pages then this is the way to actually bring things back under your control until now uh we've had the problem that People can't find us uh, because not everybody puts a cross link in. So this gets rid of that problem entirely. So if you go live on Live Video Hub, whoever's watching your show on the Live Video Hub will get a message with a link to your show and also a message in Messenger to find out more about you. And we're actually building up a gallery of everybody who broadcasts on the Live Video Hub. And Ed is in there. And... Uh, Everybody who does broadcast currently on the live video hub will be in there. And you can actually, uh, if you try it out, you can then uh, see their Facebook page and contact them in Messenger. And that's what I was saying to Ed this morning. And it still holds and it's working very well. And uh, more and more connections. The thing is that it works 24 7. And the redirect bot works when you are live. Well, it works before you go live. I've had a conversation with Corinda this morning, well before this show. Uh, conversations during the show taking place now. And if you leave the bot running, then conversations take place after the show. So it's very simple and straightforward to do. And uh, I've no doubt that on uh, RJ's return, we'll have uh, a Udemy course to accompany this. And I think the offer will be that if you take the uh, Udemy, well, if you sign up 
for the bot, then you can have the Udemy course included, providing you use the sign up link that RG and I give you. But we're working on that. So that's a possibility. Anything is possible. So that's to look forward to next week or the week after, certainly before the end of February, is a Udemy course all about the autoresponder bot. All right, and Corinda's off to do a show. And thank you, Corinda. Corinda's wishing me a great show, and he's off to do his show. So have a good show, Corinda. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, so that's good. Right, okay. Let's let's go back to basics. Uh, if you – oh, we've been joined by everybody. So this is Bots for Broadcasters with Stephen, and today I have a guest. And my first guest is transcribing everything that I say. And you'll find the link in the comments. This is a web service which is free to use and basically to help the hard of hearing or people who, who can't turn the volume up in an office. If you're solo on your show, then you can use this facility to actually uh, transcribe what you're saying live as you say. It's got darn good accuracy. Okay. So. You'll find the link in the comments to this show. Now, back to where we were. Uh, just a reminder, this is the only selling part of the show. There is a Bots for Broadcasters Udemy course, and uh, there's a special coupon. And if you haven't taken the course yet and you want to know more about Messenger Bots, then now is a good time for the price of two cappuccinos you can actually take the Bots for Broadcasters course, which has got four sample bots in it, all explained. We tell you what the bot does. We tell you why you need the bot. We tell you how we built the bot. We give you a template that you can actually copy straight away. And in addition to that, we give you written instructions as well. Okay, so there's a link to the course from Be Live in 5. And uh, if you want to take the course, please do. Two cappuccinos, it's yours for life and uh, a special price of uh, $9.95 at the moment for everybody who watches our shows. Right, commerce out of the way. And uh, this is sort of a time to get back to basics. And the question is, I'm going to turn the transcription off now uh, and save it. Just give me a second. And stop captioning. And OK, so I'll turn the captioning off. I'm coming back. OK, I'm back now. Back to basics. Um, the question arises, why do we need messenger bots? Why should we have messenger bots attached to our broadcasts? The reason is simple. Messenger bots are the most cost effective way of starting a conversation. The most, there isn't another one. You can pay money for adverts. You can continue to pay money for adverts, but a bot can do a lot more than an advert, which in any case is a one-off. A bot is for life. Once you start using a bot, then you'll be using it on a regular basis. So let's take the bot off the screen. Facebook Messenger is the heart of all this. Uh, Facebook Messenger is really the best tool has been for keeping in contact with your clients and potential clients. And the first thing that I do every day and RJ does every day is to check Facebook Messenger and reply personally to any messages that have come in during the course of the day. And that's only good courtesy. It's also good business. It may well be that one of the people who messaged you overnight does, in fact, want to do business with you. So. The mantra is check your messenger daily. You never know what's going to be there. And we say hello to Gail. Right, okay, and Gail has a question. Uh, can any small business owner use bots as well? Yes. This, this is levels the playing field. You can use it as a, a solopreneur or a sole trader. Uh, you can use it as a partnership, you can use it as a limited company, you can use it as a public company or a private company or any enterprise that's got a Facebook business page can use a bot and should do. I want to go just for a moment as to the major reason why. 
I don't know what you cost your time at, um, but a mini chat bot for your page will cost you $10 a month. And for that, you can send unlimited broadcasts, respond automatically to unlimited messages. You can do a whole range of things that you couldn't do if you're doing it manually. It automates all the repetitive tasks within Facebook Messenger. But, and this is the big but, what a Messenger bot does is it allows you to create a conversation. So I can take this as what will happen. And this, this is the beauty of it, okay? And this will be a practical, a practical example, and I'll report back next week. Gail commented with a question, and as I said, comments today are what we're looking for, and thank you, Gail, for commenting. That set into uh, effect a train of events. One, there was a personal reply saying, hello, Gail, and we are glad for your company and a link to our bots page. But the same thing that has happened, which you can't see, is that because of Gail's comment on the broadcast today, Gail will receive in Facebook Messenger a message. After this show, I will go to the Facebook Messenger for Be Live in 5, and I will send a message to Gail personally, and we'll start a conversation. And that's the start of a conversation. The conversation could go on and on and on and on as we discover more about how we can help each other. And it's this conversation starting by bots that gets things going. If I do a live show and I don't have a bot running, then I have no idea who's watched the show. And I have to dig through all the comments during the show. And sometimes there can be over 100 comments to find out people I've not spoken to in a while. With this bot, which is the redirect bot, I know as soon as I go to my messenger who's actually commented during the show. And I can start conversations straight away with everybody. So everybody who's made a comment today will actually get a message. Let's come back to that. Uh, Claire, say hello, Claire. And Claire saying she's late to the party, uh, needed to <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. I just had, I, I was bought an ex espresso machine for Christmas. And I just had an espresso before this before the show. Um, Claire has, has commented. Now, Claire and I have been friends, real world friends, for the last 13 years. But Claire has commented. And the thing is that that comment brought a reply from the redirect bot. Hello, Claire. Also, it sent a message in Messenger, and Claire and I will start a conversation after the show. And that's come about purely and simply because I have a bot running on this show, which replies to your comments. Now, it's the first bot that I've seen that actually does this and does this effectively. It will only reply to your first comment. If you comment for a second time, it's not ignored by me, but it's ignored by the bot. And that's what makes it so effective. So Claire's, uh, okay, and Claire's saying she can't do coffee this late in the day. I know what you mean, but I've got a German class uh, in, mm, what time are we now? In an hour and a half. So <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to stay, or do alert for uh, the German class with Angelica and uh, four other classmates as well. Uh, in fact, the, the German class starts at seven, runs for two hours, it's every uh, fortnight, every two weeks. And this is the way technology has come. Unfortunately, one of the students who's in the class, in the German class, uh, actually was involved in a car accident. And it means that he is, he can't drive at the moment. And he lives 25 miles away from where we are. So he will be coming in to the classroom tonight via a peer in. Now, this is magical. He can actually watch. He can hear the videos that are played. He can watch the videos that are played. He can talk to everybody who's in the room. There are five of us in total. And this is teaching personally uh, in a group. And it just worked so well last time. Technology holds up well. So that's essentially why I'm having a cup of coffee now, so that I can be ready for the class tonight. 
Okay, and notice that Claire's second comment wasn't followed up by the bot. Only the first comment is uh, followed up by the bot. The bot that I'm talking about, uh, just to give you a heads up, I'll go hide that, is, ah, it is live, is the autoresponder bot. And we'll be unveiling it next week and showing you exactly what it can do. We've got it on the live video hub, as I said earlier. It's uh, on 20 odd different broadcasts now, and hopefully uh, that will rise in the coming days. And uh, it's a great way for us to test it. But it does mean that if you go live on the live video hub, you'll get a message saying, thank you for watching on the live video hub. This is where Ed is live. Could you please, please press this link? And then we give you a link to Ed's Facebook page and to Ed's Messenger so that you can make contact either before or during his show and uh, or after, indeed. You're in control. But it, it is bringing uh, everything closer together. I mean, the live video hub, the idea of the live video hub, if I can find my title just to go on for a moment, is that the live video hub uh, hosts 197 be live tv broadcasters all broadcasting their shows on the live video hub so it's a place where you can go and watch it's like a tv channel it's the be live tv tv channel and you can go you can surf different uh, videos and you can watch them and you can skip from one to another and then if you make a comment you can go off to the live page and watch the show live make comments there and have them featured on screen what the Live Video Hub is about is actually helping broadcasters gain a wider audience, more views, more comments, and the bots are enabling us to do that. And on the Live Video Hub, it's going to make a great deal of difference now that we can send people from the Live Video Hub direct to the broadcaster's page without anything intervening. And it's also a way of making contact with people who actually listen on the live broadcaster page, live video hub page. Um, at the moment, in our live video hub messenger bot, there are 240 people. And those are 240 people who have actually um, come into Messenger, spoken to me, chatted with me, and it means that I can now start sending out broadcasts saying this is what's on the live video hub today and giving pictures for Ed and for Claire and for everyone who broadcasts on a live video hub, send out the details, show time and the show link, and a daily message will go out on the live video hub to 240 people who signed up for it. Uh, and that will promote your shows directly before you go live because people can set a reminder. And if they comment, they can find your original page too. So that's all part of our plans for the live video hub. Uh, Effect effectively bringing the live video hub to life. Uh, it makes it a very useful service. If you are broadcasting on BeLive.tv and you're broadcasting to a business page, then you can be on the hub. Uh, it's the BeLive TV live video hub and it's free to use. If you use BeLive.tv, if you broadcast on your Facebook business page, all you need to do is contact me. And the best way to contact me is you all know the answer to this. The best way to contact me is via Facebook Messenger. And you can do that either personally or on BeLive in 5 or on the live video hub. And wherever you message me, I will reply to your message and get back to you and help you. Okay, so the bots that we've got, reply to comments and send a message when we're live, which uh, saves time. I can follow up on messages personally after the show, I shouldn't do it now. I should actually be concentrating on what I'm saying. Um, and I can invite people to message me. With If I was running a show now, I could say, right, okay, message me your questions. And people would. There is the biggest problem we've heard we've got with pages. And this is a design feature that Facebook have done, is that as individuals, we can contact pages. Let's stress that. Individuals can contact pages. You've got a message button on every single page. Well, most pages. Um, you can send a message to any 
Facebook business page easily as an ordinary Facebook user. What a page can't do is it can't message you. So you have to find ways of actually attracting people into your Facebook Messenger. Now, doing live video is the best way to do it. If you go live and you go live on a regular basis, then you're going to attract an audience. And when you're attracting an audience and that audience comments, uh, you can then send them a message whilst you're live automatically and start a conversation afterwards. So how do you get people into your messenger? You go live. It's as simple as that. If you go live with good content at a regular time, so it's a time and day, and you promote that on Twitter, on Instagram, if you go live before the show to announce it, um, Jeff Adams has done did a show last week, um, possibly the week before, and I know that uh, Joel Combs done shows, and uh, the other guys, Molly Mahoney, have done shows about how to attract an audience. They know how to attract an audience, and I suggest that you actually go and watch their videos too. Um, we're all trying to build audiences. We're all trying to build uh, people who will actually talk to us during the show. And there is no magic recipe. It's hard work. It's one person at a time. And I've connected with somebody new today on the show, I think, in Gale. And if you can speak to someone new in every one of your shows that you do, and just for argument's sake, if you're doing five shows a week, then you'd be connecting with 250 people a year. And out of that 250, a percentage would actually come and watch your shows on a regular basis. So small numbers become medium numbers, become larger numbers, and you've got to work at it. There is no easy, I got a, a message the other day from a gentleman in Pakistan, and he said, well, how do I build an audience? Because you can go live and nobody will watch you. You can do, write a Udemy course and nobody will take it. Uh, I'm fortunate in the, my Udemy courses, the, one, the free one we do about Be Live TV has now got 5,300 students. So the law of attraction, not the law of attraction, sorry, Claire. Attracting an audience is the best way to do it. And I was asked, basically, how do you attract an audience? Uh, and this is without bots. You can actually attract an audience if you start your own Facebook group and you invite your friends to it. Simple as that. Then you broadcast into the group and your friends will see it in the group, it's private. You have to make sure that your content is good and that your friends like it. If your friends do like it, and they should, then you can ask them to invite their friends and then you repeat the process. So eventually what you have in the group is friends of friends of friends and you build the group that way you go live in the group on a regular basis once you've built a i'm going to say a loyal following but an engaged audience in a facebook group then you can bring it onto your business page and tell people in your group that this time you're going live on your business page would they come and watch and of course they will because you've proved yourself. You've proven that you can have good content which involves them in the show and they are willing to help you. Now, quid pro quo, you should allow other people to go live in the group as well and you should help them, okay? So it's everybody working together. Now, with that in mind, uh, in January, I started uh, the Live Video Squad. Now, the Live Video Squad is a group that I invite everybody to join. And it's a group made up of people who provide training about live videos, people who are looking for training about live video. It is a group where you can actually sell your services. It's a group where you can buy services. But in January, I've been somewhat busy, um, has to be said. Uh, the Be Live in Five, which was the second week in January, ran from Monday to Friday, and um, Thousands actually watched it, and seven, nine of my friends took part, and that was a blast of a week to do. And then I was off in Dublin with Facebook Gather. So that was another week taken out of my schedule. So uh, the live video squad has got my attention in February, and basically what we'll be doing is energizing that 
um, and getting it going and getting people involved. Right. Okay. Now, if you've got questions, then please do ask. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Uh, it has been sort of following everything that I've said and transcribing everything that I've said. I'll just uh, start captioning again. So it's now captioning again, and everything that I say is automatically transcribed. And this is Web Captioner, and you'll find a link to Web Captioner in the comments. And I invite you to try it out for yourself. And uh, it just simply works. It's totally free. It is reliable. You can use it. Now, I've got a German lesson in an hour and a half. And uh, normally, I only speak for half the time in the show. Uh, RJ and I will be back next Wednesday at the same time. To everybody who's watched the show today, I'll take that off the screen, stop sharing. To everybody who's watched the show today, I'd like to say thank you. Um, and I will see you again. Well, it's Blubbing for Britain, 10 o'clock tomorrow. And then myself and Cheryl uh, talking about tips and tools for broadcasters at 3 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern. And we'll be back to talk about that. Thanks for joining me for today. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.